Osteoporosis is a bone disease which causes bones to become weak and brittle. So much so that a fall or even mild stresses such as bending over or coughing can cause a fracture. Bones in your body are continuously broken down and reformed. This process is known as bone remodeling. Osteoporosis occurs due to an imbalance in the remodeling process. In osteoporosis, more bone is broken down and less new bone is built back up. As a result, your bones become less dense. Over time, your bones lose their strength and become extremely fragile, which causes them to break easily. Osteoporosis affects more than 200 million people worldwide, and the disease is responsible for an estimated 8.9 million fractures per year across the globe. Treatments for osteoporosis currently involve simply treating and preventing bone fractures, as well as using medication to strengthen bones. Drugs are used to slow down or prevent bone damage, and estrogen therapy is also used in some groups of people to help maintain bone density. A novel osteoporosis drug called Romosozumab provides major improvements in bone density and more effective protection against fractures. Romosozumab is an antibody that works by binding and inhibiting the activity of the protein sclerostin. As a result, it has a dual effect on bone, both increasing bone formation and decreasing bone breakdown. In one study, 4,093 women with osteoporosis and previous fractures were randomly given one of two treatment plans for 12 months. The first plan used an older osteoporosis drug called alendronate, while the second used the newer drug, romosuzumab. The risk of vertebral fracture proved to be 48% lower for those who received romosuzumab compared to the group that received alendronate the whole time. The risk of a clinical fracture, such as an arm or leg fracture, was 27% lower in the group that received romosuzumab. The drug has recently been approved in Japan. In another study, researchers discovered that senescent cells, or dead cells, may be the cause of osteoporosis. The body's senescent cells are involved in the normal process of aging and in diseases related to aging. In animal trials, researchers targeted these senescent cells. In a trial involving mice, the mice showed enhanced bone mass and strength while maintaining or increasing bone formation. This result separated the trial from other osteoporosis treatment trials. Scientists have also uncovered a new bone-forming growth factor that may reverse the bone loss associated with osteoporosis. The newly discovered bone-forming growth factor is known as osteolectin. Researchers discovered that when mice were injected daily with osteolectin, they experienced an increase in bone volume. The mice also exhibited reduced symptoms of osteoporosis, such as the delayed healing of fractures. Researchers believe that these results show that osteolectin plays an important role in new bone formation and maintaining adult bone mass. A separate study found that blocking certain receptors in the brain leads to the growth of remarkably strong bones. Since the results are surprising and novel, plenty more work will be needed. However, these breakthroughs have already opened some exciting new avenues for osteoporosis treatment and give hope that a cure may not be so far out of reach. Mm -hmm.